Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do a quick update on ratio 3.2.6. Uh, this should be released today. I'm going to try to release this video the same day that it's released uh, so that you guys can get to see it uh, on time. Uh, thanks for watching and let's get to the video right away. So here we have it, ratio 3.2.6. I'm really excited to showcase it. Um, I haven't made a big video on ratio because I am making sure that, of course, uh, there's enough features to talk about. I don't want to just talk about bug fixes and stuff like that. But since the last update, a lot of things have happened, a lot of improvements, a lot of things that have been added. So let's go over them. I'll be talking about 3.2.6 mainly, but in the meantime, I'll be talking about anything that I haven't talked about in the previous videos. So as you see, general has been expanded quite a lot. Uh, the first couple of things we have already talked about, but one thing that I wanna notice is that enabled grayscale now can be found in the quick settings right here. So you can enable it or disable it right there color mode or grayscale. Uh, then you can have, of course, the faster animations, racial wallpapers, if you wanna check them out, you will open the gallery, and there you have some wallpapers to accompany your lock screen or anything. Uh, instead of being hidden, now you can find them quickly. Uh, on top of that, you also have start onboarding. Uh, I think I made a video on the onboarding, but essentially is a, uh, page that tells you how to do ratio, what are the drawers, what is the root, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can always skip the guide and don't have to do it. Or jump back in into the settings. Uh, permissions manager. This is actually something good that allows you to know what the phone is using. So that is really helpful right there. It tells you what it's using and you can revoke the permission. This is very transparent and actually a very good addition for privacy and everything, especially since Android or Google is not the most helpful. You want the apps that you have installed, uh, making sure that you, you, know, you don't give any extra information. So here you have all of the permissions. As you see, there is a lot of permissions because this is a lot, uh, you know, this app is connected to a lot of things. But again, you know, you can revoke them individually if you don't want to allow Ratio to do that. You can uninstall Ratio that has been moved here to the general. Now we're going to go to tiles now. Now you have edit drawers. Uh, this has been, you know, um, a pain. It's been buggy in the past, but now it works uh, very well. Um, but then the welcome addition here is the tiles configuration backup. So you can back up something, you can save it probably into the memory, and then you can restore it later, maybe into an SD card or something. Uh, notification pill speed, of course. Show drawer icons, show pin root cards, center drawers vertically. Here, I'm going to go back to the, oh, cancel, no, I don't want to restore yet, I guess it was saving my previous one. Uh, so as you see, those are, here's, there's a space. We talked about that space before. Some people didn't like it. Now you have the ability to go back and uh, get it right here. And you know, if you want it to not be centered, you can go on top now. And of course, if you add a pin tile, so let's say you pin it to the top, it will push it down just a little bit. We're gonna pin this one as well so that you can check that that's still available. And there's still a limit of three uh, pinned tiles here at the top. We're gonna go back to the ratio settings. Uh, so you can back up and then you can restore it in case that you liked uh, previous thing that you did or whatever it is. Number of columns, four to five, display search results. Uh, one thing that has been changed about the search results is the uh, search engine. Now you can search with Quant or with Google. That is uh, very helpful. A lot of users requested it. They like Google. If you want to be, you know, more privacy oriented, you use Quant. If you want to just use Google because of all of the convenience, um, it's not fully usable yet. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but hey, you know, it's 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 very helpful, especially if you're trying to do a quick search. Now we have a calculator and a converter. Uh, we have Google right there. Uh, but the search is uh, is very nice now, uh, since it's you know two different ones. You have the Quant, and then you have the the Google one. Songkick, Spotify, you know, same things as before. Nothing new to show showcase on that. But let's go into the search. I want to show you that uh, that has been added. Uh, right here, we have the Google search. Let's see. You still have Quant. You can disable it, but when it searches on Google. Uh, let's say that we're going to search for hello. Uh, it will not display within the root, but it will also, it will prompt you to go to a browser. So you'll see right here, it will open your browser and make the search there. It is not a perfect implementation, of course, 
but it is better than what it used to be. Now, the other thing is that it stays here. If you wanna rearrange it, of course you can delete it and you don't have to deal with it. Uh, I wanna try out the calculator card. This is the first time that I'll actually be trying it out. Uh, right now on video, I'll be trying it out. Uh, where is calculator? Right there. So we have a calculator card. Let's see, nine minus five, four. Oh, it's very seamless. Six times six, 36. Perfect, uh, let's do some percentages. So 90 uh, times, let's see, 5%. Oh, there you go, 4.5, there you go. Now uh, that's 5% of 90. Perfect, uh, it works very seamless, it works very well. Um, oh, of course, right there. Uh, and I guess you can see your history as well. You can clear it all, uh, and maybe you can go back. Yes, you can go back. Uh, you can, of course, take a screenshot, that's another thing that has been added. I don't remember if I talked about that one, but you can take a screenshot of that specific right there, uh, weather card or whatever it is, and you can you know, save it in your screenshots if you wanna you know, send a picture to a friend or something that you wanna share with. Uh, there's still news, there's still YouTube. Um, since the last updates, I know I mentioned it, but uh, it's kind of mentioning it again. It updates automatically for your searches, so for the news, Let's say Wall Street Journal, journal um, let's use Mashable this time around. So you have the news right there with Mashable, you wanna expand it, and every so often it will automatically update. So you don't have to keep requesting it again and again. Um, so those are some of the changes. Let's see the alphabetical sorting. That's something that has been added. So here it's added freely. We're going to hold, and then it says A to Z order. And right there, it is A to Z but if you want to order it freely, uh, well, actually, let's try to see if I can order it freely. Um, nope, it doesn't seem, let's see if I add another tile. Would it do automatically? Yep, it does automatically, even if you add a different one. So alphabetical sorting is very seamless. That is very good. Um, if I try to move it somewhere, it doesn't allow me. So we're going to do free order right here and see if that allows me to change things. Yep, that allows me to change things. Alphabetical order doesn't allow you, uh, which is nice, uh, depending on what you want. You know, if you want alphabetical order, there you have it. If you want free order, uh, you can lock the tile, you can edit the tile, you can change the icon. There's uh, icons, I mentioned that in the previous update. So those are some of the changes that have happened since last time we left with ratio. Uh, basic Google search, notes, checkboxes. Oh, I haven't showcased that, I'll, I'll showcase it. Uh, quick settings for grayscale. There's a lot of fixes and improvements. Of course, everyone's still waiting for the tree. Uh, and of course, that is uh, something that a lot of people want uh, when it comes to, to uh, ratio because that will be the messaging screen, right? Like, you know, we're still waiting on that. Um, I've been told that it's coming soon. They're still working with a lot of bug fixes and a lot of different devices. Uh, a lot of different devices have been supported since the last time. So they're trying to make sure that everything works smoothly on those devices before introducing one big update such as the tree. So keep being patient. I mean, this is a very good alternative, especially for Android users that want to be, um, you know, more focused on their tasks every day, you know, instead of checking all the time. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, let me showcase the notes, uh, maybe. Oh, no, I don't want to clear the route. Uh, let me showcase the notes, one more thing. We have the notes. Uh, we're gonna try with the check boxes, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try to figure it out. Oh, there it is, check boxes. Hello, and another checkbox, hi. And then that's my note right there. There you have it, okay, it works perfectly. Uh, we're going to dismiss that, and there you go. There you have it, uh, that is ratio 3.2.6. Uh, not a lot else to report, it's still working well. There's more improvements, and of course, uh, you can still restart it if you come to a bug. Remember, this is a beta, and there's a lot of patience and involved when it comes to beta products, right? Uh, but again, it's a great recommendation for digital minimalism if you have an Android. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.